Protect your privacy online with the number one rated VPN on the market, ExpressVPN, and get three months free when using my referral link. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GTA Online Kyle Brico Heist in-depth guide. Today we're going to be going over the Annihilator Stealth, talking about its stats, its performance, and comparing it to its much more impressive brother, the Akula. And yes, I did say the Akula was a much more impressive brother. You'll see why. Also, I would just like to apologize ahead of time if I go off on a rant about this piece of flying trash. So, the Stealth Annihilator has three weapons, the machine guns, and your choice of either the barrage or the hoeing missiles. Let's start with the hoeing missiles. They have a lock-on range of 300 meters and will travel a maximum of around 535 meters before blowing up on their own. So it's pretty much a carbon copy of the Akula hoeing missiles, no change there. And the rate of fire is the exact same too, you can fire a rocket once every second or so. The barrage missiles, again, are the exact same as the Akula 2, with a max range of 400 meters, and they shoot 4 at a time instead of the Hunter and B-11 7 at a time. The other form of offense for the pilot of this vehicle are the machine guns, and you know, considering the name of this helicopter is the Annihilator Stealth, I figured, you know, it would have the Annihilator machine guns, I mean, it only makes sense, right? But no, not at all. I'm gonna show you guys a clip in a second here. The regular Annihilator is gonna be on the right hand side, and the Stealth Annihilator will be on the left. Watch how long it takes the pea shooters of the so called Annihilator Stealth to blow up a police helicopter. Absolute trash. Now, let's watch another test. This time, the Akula is going to be on the left versus the Stealth Annihilator on the right. So it looks like the guns aren't only weaker than the regular Annihilators, but they're also weaker than the coolest shitty machine guns too, lovely. Well Gilly, the Stealth Annihilator is a personal aircraft, which means it's gonna have more armor, right? Nope. The Stealth Annihilator blows up in just one rocket, doesn't matter which one, it could be RPG, a homing rocket, a pressure missile, you name it, and it'll blow this thing out of the sky. It does seem to have a lowered hitbox, which makes it ever so slightly harder to hit with a lock-on missile, but how are you gonna make any aircraft in Grand Theft Rocket Launcher Online 2020 blow up in one freaking homing rocket? Especially when its competitor, the Akula, takes three homing rockets to blow up. Who designed this helicopter? Why does Rockstar just love to intentionally add dog shit into their game? I don't get it. And how very military of this helicopter to not have any countermeasures either, so you're a fucking sitting duck against anything. The Akula gets away with not having any countermeasures because it has armor on it, and the stealth mode with the armor is enough defense for it. But what's the reason why this thing doesn't have any armor against towing missiles? It's completely unusable in 2020. Absolutely ridiculous. I really, really hope that this helicopter is just bugged and they did not intentionally design it that way, because if they did, oh my god, man, I don't know what they're thinking. Against explosive rounds, it has a little bit of defense, although I did have mixed results. One time it blew up in 7 explosive sniper rounds, and then another time it blew up in 5, so yippee, more RNG vehicle armor I guess. Another weakness of this helicopter is that the tail rotor can be shot off in just two well-placed FMJ revolver shots. The Akula, on the other hand, cannot have its tail rotor shot off. Now let's move on to performance. Can this helicopter climb faster than the Akula? Let's find out. Nope, it climbs slower than the Akula, much slower in fact. What about speed and acceleration? Nope, sucks ass against the Akula in that department too. One area the Stealth Annihilator does excel in is the fact that it can seat 6 people, you can put 4 in the back and 1 in the passenger seat, and with Stealth Mode you can carry around quite a lot of people off the radar. But, in Rockstar fashion, they found a way to ruin that too, because for some reason the people in the back can't access their weapons while the vehicle's in stealth mode, so there goes any tactical uses for that too. Why does the helicopter have to be out of stealth mode for people in the back to fire their own weapons? Apparently that's too OP, but a weaponized satellite that can target you through stealth mode aircraft? Nah, that's perfectly fine. 
Hey, at least you can look cool repelling down from the side of the helicopter though. The pilot only has to sit still for 20 seconds in hopes that a stray homing rocket doesn't come along and blow it out of the sky in the meantime. So essentially, this helicopter is an Akula without the perks of the Akula. It's not armored, it can't be equipped with bombs, it's slower and climbs slower. All for a cheap price of 200,000 more than the Akula? What the f***? Not only is it a shittier Akula, but you have to pay more for it too. What an absolute joke. This is one of the most lazily put together vehicles I have ever seen. It just looks like there is no thought put in it whatsoever. I could maybe excuse the lack of armor if it was immune to lock-on, or if it did have the really good Annihilator machine guns, but it doesn't have any of that, it's just a trash tier helicopter. Rockstar, please buff this aircraft, it does not deserve to be garbage like this. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, save your money, get the Akula instead, trust me, you won't be sorry. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Huge thank you to all my channel members for your support. If you would like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.